So in this video, I will show you exactly how you edit or cut or sync your cuts to the beat. And it is a very common music video, video transition, or just a simple way to make your videos just a little bit more cinematic. I'll show you that in this video. You might learn a thing or two. Jump into Adobe Premiere. My name is Peter. You're watching a Broke Visionary Collective. Let's get into this. What is up, guys? So now I am in Adobe Premiere. I have this video that I filmed of a model here, just a simple B-roll that I never used because it was a little blooper. But I'm going to show you for the purpose of this video how you cut to the beat or off to the beat. So first, obviously, you want to have a music track and you want to find where you want to cut to the beat. So here I found a hi-hat and it's one of the easiest ways to cut to the beat. So I'm just going to have my in and out points there. I'm going to drag that into my video and then I'm going to play it back. And the beginner way method of uh, trying to cut to the beat is all you want to do is you want to find where that first hi-hat is. So it's right here. It's right here. I make a cut there. There's another cut here. So then you would have either a second video or you can trans transition to another video. But I'm just going to simply drag this over here. Another cut here. Like that. And that is the beginner way of how you cut to the beat and making sure that each clip that you cut to the next transition is going to be a little different so your eye can actually distinguish that there is a new video clip being in place. But an easier way to get even a more precise of a cut to the beat is you want to find where that clap or that sna snare drum is. And then what I like to do is I go to the music track, I click the music track, and then I press M, and that will add a marker to my music track. So it's about here. Press M again. right here there's another snare drum there and you can usually see where the next beat is if you zoom into your timeline you actually see the audio waveform so you can see where that kick is or where that snare drum is and now what you've done is you have four markers that you can simply just drag and drop your videos into with it without actually having to guess where the the next clap is or where the next snare drum is now you watch it back You can do this with a drone shot as well. I'll show you that in a bit. And it's really damn simple. And next, I'm going to show you that same thing. All I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a drone shot into here. But as you can see, the markers where I place where the cut should be is still remaining on my audio track. So now I have a simple drone shot shot on my Mavic Mini. Simply just panning down on the Y axis. And this leaves me room where I can actually cut to the beat. So I'm just going to make random cuts. Next, what you want to do is you close all the gaps within your video clips. And as you can see here, this is a drone shot. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to just pair up where my markers were from the previous marker trackings that I did before already. As you can see, there is your little cut or sync to the beat. And that is me cutting onto the beat. And that is the method of how I actually do it. There is another way where you can have your markers and you can automatically do it. But that is a little bit more advanced. Let me know if you guys want to see that in the next video or a version 2 of this video. And the very last more advanced thing of whether or not you want to cut to the beat is... Alternatively, you don't have to cut on the beat, you can cut off the beat. Or, on top of that, you can also, instead of cutting right on the beat, you can cut one frame after the beat. So this is, it's a very subtle thing, but I will show you how that looks if I cut exactly one frame after the beat. So what I'm doing now is I'm just dragging where the initial marker is, one frame above after it, so all the clips are, I'm cutting 
essentially one clip after the beat. Now, this is how it looks like if you cut essentially one frame after each hit marker or marker that you have on your videos. That's very subtle. And that, guys, is how I cut to the beat or cut on sync on the beat. You can apply this with any off the beat or when you're listening to your music, you want to see if there are any hi-hats, near drums, anything or even a bass where you are essentially pairing up the visual to the audio and it makes your videos a little bit more entertaining, a little more engaging. But at the same time, you don't want to always do it to every single beat or hi-hat because whoever's watching the video can start to predict where your cuts are going to be. So use it sparingly, use it every now and then, but don't do it every single beat or cut because then... It just gets very mundane, just like any effect. You want to apply it with, with caution and sparingly. And that is how you do a simple cut to the beat, jump to the beat, whatever sort of cut, syncing, editing to the beat that you want to. And it is a technique that is widely known. You'll see this in montages, popular YouTubers' videos. And it's a way of how you can spice up your cuts a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting. And honestly, this is one of the first tips or tricks that I used when I first started editing music videos, YouTube videos, and any sort of visual content. And that's how I do it, guys. Hope that was helpful for you. And that, guys, that was exactly how you cut or jump or sync to the beat within Adobe Premiere, or you can use any video editing program. The same thing really applies. And just like any technique, you don't either want to overdo it and you don't want whoever to watch the video to predict where your cuts are going to be. So change it up, either you're on beat or off beat. And well, as there are different shortcuts that you can use, whether you're a complete beginner, you can just cut to the beat as is with your shortcut tool. You can use your markers and as well as Adobe's own, replace the footage with a certain clips where you can sync it and it automatically does it. But, but for me, like I said, I prefer manually placing the clips to where the beat is or where I put the marker. And that's how you sync to the beat. It's really common in music videos. And if you haven't yet, make sure you grab my free camera guide links description to help you figure out what's the next piece of equipment that you should buy. If you want two free months off of Skillshare, I'm not sponsored, but you can get access to my course links description as well. And check out my other videos on how to you can you become a better video editor to take your video career to the next level or Hell, if, even if you just want to make simple YouTube videos, hoping that was able to help you just make your videos just more cool, you know? And if you don't know who I am yet, my name is Peter. You're watching Broke Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Smash that thumbs up button if you watch this far, and let me know what kind of more videos you want to see. Cheers, guys.